Hi everyone, Justin and Crystal back with the full Layla review. You saw us do the unboxing and now let's share with you how we slept on this mattress and how potentially it can work with you. So first we're just going to talk about unboxing. Uh, you know, this does come in a fairly compact box as you can see right over there uh, and it will show up right at your front door which is really nice. And it's not overly heavy, so if you have to maneuver it on your own, you certainly can. Uh, once we unboxed it, you know, it didn't have too much off-gassing, so that was a bonus. It does come with a few perks. I know there's a t-shirt and a bag and some different things in there, as well as a tool to open it up, so that's nice. Uh, one thing uh, we will note is the fact that when we did open it up, it does take a little while to expand, um, especially right now it's winter, so it's a little cooler. So that memory foam does take a little time, so I'd give it a good, you know, eight to ten hours before sleeping on it and a good 24 hours before you really have a true feel. Um, you know, other than that though, it's a pretty quick and simple process. So next we're just going to talk about the overall comfort of the bed. I know for me being a back sleeper, I do prefer something that's going to be a little bit medium firm. The really cool thing and the unique thing about the Layla mattress, so much like their old mattress that they had, this is going to be the newer v version this you're going to be able to flip so it's going to have two sides it's going to have a softer side and it's going to have a firmer side now we actually ended up sleeping on more of the softer side i did find that it grooved really nicely to my back and i know crystal being a more of a side sleeper she preferred something um, softer and it didn't bother me that i actually had to s sleep on the softer side so it wasn't a big deal you know comfort wise as far as how it's going to groove to your body if you like that memory foam feel, this is going to be really a, a true, you know, all foam, no coil mattress where it's going to groove to you. You can feel that it's going to use some of that denser foam inside of it, which is going to be a plus. That's going to give you more longevity. It's probably going to give you more of a deeper comfort, which is really a great thing. Crystal, what did you think? Yeah, definitely the softer side is going to you know, be really more contouring a little bit than the firmer side. If you're a prominent stomach sleeper, the firmer side would probably be better, but for side sleeping it worked great. Uh, I definitely found it to be a little bit slower responding, but it also relieved pressure really nice too. So I found myself definitely sleeping more on my side, on um, the soft side. The other really cool thing too is the fact that there is a difference between each side. You know, some of these mattresses that we've tried out where you do have uh, the flippability factor in it, they actually feel exactly the same. So this is going to be unique and you know, it's going to provide for you both of the feels, which is great. And they're actually even indicated on here, so you know which side you're sleeping on, which is really nice too. Yeah, we're going to actually do a demonstration where we're going to flip it over for you so you can see how simple it is. All right, we're going to show you how easy it is to be able to flip and rotate this mattress, and we're going to show you the differences where this side, clearly marked, is going to be soft. We're just going to pick this up and rotate this here. Then we'll just scoot by. If your room is big enough, this is going to make it very easy to do. You just drop this down and it's going to have this uh, darker cover, same pattern on it, and this is going to be the firmer side. And you can, you can see that you're going to have some good density when you're going to lay on this bed. Me being a back sleeper, I do like to be riding up on top of a mattress a little bit more, so I think that this would be my preferred preference. But Crystal being a side sleeper, she liked it a little bit softer, so we did focus more of our time on the softer side. However, it's not too bad. If you are a little bit on the heavier side and you still like sleeping on your side, this will still contour your, to, contour to your shoulders and your hips pretty well too. Yep. So let's talk about the overall edge support of this mattress. This isn't going to have border rod that runs around the outside. It doesn't have a steel coil system. Edge support is just going to be okay. I mean, you're, once you get all the way up onto the edge, like with any memory foam type mattress, you're going to feel like you're going to slide out just a bit. But the nice thing is, is this does have a consistent feel, so I'm, I'm more or less I'm going to just go down into it instead of feel like I'm ejected out. The most important thing for Crystal and I, though, is the sleeping surface. This being a queen size mattress, we want to be able to utilize all the space that we have. And this is going to have really good edge to edge, end to end sleeping surface. You're not going to feel like you're going to roll out if you tuck up next to that edge and you're trying to get a little extra space. Yeah, one thing I will say though is that the softer side, there's a little less edge support for sleeping than the firmer side where that feels a little bit more consistent, so that's something to keep in mind too. Uh, next, we're just going to jump right into sleeping cool on this mattress. Uh, it is a memory foam mattress that is more contouring, so you know it is going to retain a little bit more heat. The one thing they try to do to offset that is infuse it with copper, which is going to be a natural uh, element that's going to help pull heat away. So it does help a little bit in that aspect. 
Um, me being a pretty neutral sleeper, I didn't have too many issues with that. But with Justin, did you feel any issues with sleeping too warm? You know, I obviously if I have a coil system underneath me, I'm going to get a little bit more um, heat reduction. You know, this does have that copper infusion in it, which is a good thing. But if you're a super warm sleeper, you probably go more of the hybrid route instead of having something that's going to be all foam. Yeah, and again, I guess to deal with uh, the softer and firmer side, if you do choose the firmer side, you do ride up a little bit higher. So which that makes a difference. You. And then lastly, just motion transfer. Um, any kind, anytime you have an all foam bed, you know, motion transfer is going to be pretty minimal, uh, as you can Very. see. This bed really absorbs it very well. So if motion transfer is an issue or you share a bed and you have a partner that tosses and turns a lot, this is a bed that will definitely help kind of keep that vibration at a minimum. Yeah, this is going to do a great job for that. So just to wrap up the Layla review, this is going to be a more affordable mattress, which is really nice, especially considering the fact that it's kind of two beds in one with that softer and firmer side. Uh, it also comes with free shipping, which is really nice, a 120 night sleep trial and a lifetime warranty. So, you know, if you're interested in a mattress that is all foam, has good contouring and pressure relief, as well as really good at motion transfer reduction, then the Layla is definitely one to consider. Uh, and let's not forget to uh, go back to over to OurSleepGuide.com because we will have a coupon for this mattress, too, to save even more money. Yeah, definitely. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you do have questions, definitely shoot us an email, comment below, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye.